So I tried many Android 10 rooms, but every time I come back to Lineage with 17 as my daily driver. And in this video, I will explain you why. So guys, there are plenty of Android 10 rooms out there, and most of them I reviewed on the channel. I will drop the link for that. First thing first, Lineage OS 17 which is based on Android 10 and right now Android 10 ROMs are not stable. I mean you can use them but there will be some minor bugs which will lead you to TWRP and restore your Android backup and that's quite time consuming and irritating. Another thing is system wide dark theme works great on Lineage OS 17. Just because of that I got extra battery life. And as I said, Lineage OS 17 is now available for plenty of Android devices and that's one of the reasons to use Lineage OS 17 as your Android 10 ROM. Another amazing thing about Lineage OS 17 is that you can install any custom kernel. And if you don't know what is custom kernel, it is a kernel that you can install on top of any custom ROM or stock ROM to increase performance and battery life. Unlike other Android 10 ROMs, if you install custom kernel on Lineage OS 17, you won't get stuck in boot loop. I personally tried with Franco kernel and I was successful in that. So guys, I installed this on my OnePlus 6 and it's completely stable so far. As you can see, everything is completely stable and smooth. Now let's go to about section and let me show you this is indeed Lineage OS based on Android 10 with the latest security patch of 5th September. So I installed this room yesterday and so far everything is working properly. Wi-Fi is working, I can connect my Bluetooth device, the camera is very basic in this room but it's working with the video recording but of course if you want you can install Gcam for better photos and videos. Now if you have ever installed LineageOS in the past you might know LineageOS is not known for its features because LineageOS normally has very less features compared to other rooms like Resurrection Remix so that's the same story with this build also. It doesn't have that many feature but if you are looking for stable Android Q right now then I highly recommend you to install this room. So there is new volume control slide here when you tap here it will show you a pop up where you can control all your volumes from a single slide. So in the quick setting you can find system wide dark theme which works great in this room. So this dark theme will be applied to all the supported apps. And there is also grayscale if you want to use it personally I don't think it's much useful. So now whenever you get new notification when you long press that you get two options one is alerting and the second one is silent. If you select silent then all your notification for silent will be shown separately in the silent tab. So in this lineage OS all kind of sensors like accelerometer, light proximity, gyroscope are working perfectly fine there is no problem. So now let's talk about the features. The new feature here is called permission manager It's available in privacy tab. When you tap on that, you can see which apps are using your call logs, camera, contacts, location, microphone and many more things. Now let's see which apps are using my location. So as you can see all the apps are denied except Google Play Store and if I want I can deny it to Google Play Store also. But as you can see, camera app is only allowed to use my location when that app is running. Now this feature is really useful if you are using some bad apps like Facebook. And there are very basic kind of features like status bar customization, you can customize your buttons and that's it. As I said earlier, this ROM doesn't have that many features. So guys, if you want to download this, I will drop links for all supported device as well as how to install a step by step guide video in the description box below. Before you go there, please like this video if you appreciate my work. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow.